GMB union members, including Her Majesty's Palace Beef Eaters, have balloted to strike against their employer, the historic Royal Palaces, HIP, with an overwhelming majority of 91%. Beef Eaters, also known as Yeoman Warders, are ceremonial guardians for the Tower of London. The Queen's Palace staff will strike outside the gates of the Tower of London and Hampton Court Palace on 8 January 2019. Staff and employers of HIP are outraged after chiefs decided to close employees' final salary pensions, despite being promised they would not see changes regarding pensions at the time of privatization, according to GMB Union. This prompted the GMB Union to call for a vote to protest, which saw 91% of Royal Palace staff ballot for strike action. HIP staff will now lose their pension from November 30. A total of 88% of Royal Palace staff took part in the vote. Mike Lainsley, GMB regional organizer said, HIP are jumping on a bandwagon which is seeing employers engaging in a race to the bottom, ending good final salary schemes and replacing them with risky cheaper defined contribution schemes. All the while the UK government stands idly by at a time when they're telling the population to save for their retirement and our elderly can't afford to pay for social care. GMB members still at this late stage are willing to talk to HIP but the silence from HIP is deafening. Speaking about the new pension scheme, Nick Ainsley, GMB regional officer, said the change would mean the pay cut for the rest of their lives for palace staff. He said, pensions really matter to our members and in the day-to-day -day contacts we have with them across HIP, the importance to them of continuing to be able to build the pension they were promised when they were transferred to HIP from the civil service is emphasized to us over and over again. They see their defined benefit pension entitlement as a critical element of the employment package and quite rightly put a great value on it. HIP's decision to close the scheme came as a great surprise. Difficulties of the ability to afford the pension have never been muted before and members just see this attack on their standard of living for the rest of their lives. HIP are just jumping on the bandwagon as they see other companies ending good defined benefit schemes, preferring instead to let the taxpayer pick up the shortfall in the years to come.